and welcome to Opset in Soft. Have you ever played the dinosaur game in Google Chrome that we encounter when there's no internet? Let's have a look at that. We have to jump over these cacti. But did you know that this dinosaur that seems to be running is actually not running at all? He is just still at his position and it is the background that is moving. And today we will be replicating this game in Scratch. So let's begin with our class. Let's create a new project. Get rid of Scratchy the cat. Choose a sprite. Search for dinosaur sprite. Choose dinosaur 4. Let's go and check out its costumes that are already present. So it has different kinds of costumes, but we just need the first one and we will edit the first one to give the impression that the dinosaur is actually moving its leg. So in the first costume, just move the darker leg forward in a slant as if it's taking its first step and the lighter leg backwards with a slant, okay, like this. Duplicate, bring the legs closer to each other and remove the slant, the angle, okay? So this is the midway position. Duplicate and in this one, we are going to bring the light green leg forward and the darker green leg backwards to give the impression that he is taking the second step. So I will have to change the positions of the legs a bit. Along with the angle. Okay. So something like that. This was the first one, middle one, and now the last one, the third one. Okay. Let's go to the code. Events. When flag is clicked, control forever. I want to change costume. Okay. In a forever loop. So next costume. Check out how it's looking. It's looking fine. The dinosaur is running. Let's reduce its size. Make it 50. Okay, good size. Let's rename the dinosaur 4 to Dino. And now I am going to capture the spacebar key event and I will make it jump if the user clicks spacebar. Okay, so get an if block. Put it after next costume within the forever loop. Check for space key event by going to sensing and getting the key space pressed block and if it is pressed i want my dinosaur to jump let's try some jumping code which will not be our final code it's just to explain why we will be going with another piece of jumping code okay so let's think about it when you are doing scratch for the first time it's okay to have a dinosaur that jumps by going up and then coming down, that is we change y by a certain number. So let's do that. And we add a tiny bit of delay. 0 0.3 seconds. And then we duplicate and do the opposite. But this has a problem, okay? So if I try this code and I press the spacebar key, Look at how unsmooth our movement is. I mean, we suddenly go up and then we come down because this jumping is not following the law of physics. When we are actually jumping in real life, we use force to jump. We go up, but the Earth's gravity pulls us down. So our speed while going up also starts going down, okay? So we start with a certain amount of speed but our speed decreases as we go up because the earth's gravity is pulling us down and this is called deacceleration. Once we have reached a certain height and we start coming down, initially our speed will be slow but as we get closer to the earth, again the earth's gravity is pulling us down so we accelerate, our speed increases and this will get the smooth movement of our jump if we consider the speed and gravity and all that in our code. So let me show you a very simple and easy piece of code that you can use whenever you have to add realistic jumping to your games. Okay. So let's go ahead with that. So what we're going to do is we are going to get rid of this code. Okay. And let's make 
a block for our jump code so that code is readable and we have only one place to make a change if we want to change my jump code and I just don't have to look where my jump code is I can make a block for it so I will just go to my blocks go to make a block jump okay and keep this unchecked run without screen refresh because we don't want it to be super fast we want it to be realistic jumping okay and then we are going to define jump here now let's get rid of this code because this was just to explain the unsmooth jumping we need two variables to make a physics based jump code so i'm just going to go to make a variable one is max speed and this is for this sprite only because our physics related jump code is only restricted to a dyno okay we don't want it to be accessible by other sprites okay so this is for this sprite only this variable max speed let's uncheck it because we don't want to show it to the user make another variable and this is speed for this sprite only and this variable i will be using for bringing a change in my speed as i'm going up or coming down again uncheck it so that it is not displayed to the user now let's write the code for it in the beginning when the flag is clicked for my dyno i have to set max speed to 15 and initialization of my max speed variable the next thing is that inside my jump code i am going to set my this speed variable to the max speed so set speed to max speed okay and i am going to first do the going up code so go to control get the repeat until block and i am going to continue going up while reducing the speed until my speed becomes zero okay so repeat until speed is equal to zero so go to operators and get the equal to block plug in speed here so repeat until speed is equal to zero and i'm going to start going up by changing y by speed okay so initially my speed will be equal to 15 because i set my speed to max speed and my max speed was set to 15 when flag was clicked okay so change y by speed and in every loop iteration i will reduce my speed by 1 okay so change speed by minus 1 okay this is the going up code duplicate the same code but this is now the going down code interchange these two okay so bring the reduction in speed before change y by speed and now we have to change this condition because obviously we will not go inside this loop because our speed became zero when we came out of this loop so what is the new condition here that our speed is equal to minus one multiplied by max speed so get the multiplication block so we have to bring the dinosaur down while increasing its speed until we reach the position at which we started okay that's the exact opposite of how much we went up okay so minus one multiply by max speed okay remember to use max speed here so repeat until our speed becomes minus 15 okay the block has been defined and we just have to call the block when space key is pressed okay so let's try it and you can see how smooth our dyno is jumping now okay you can see that the force with which he started is gradually decreasing as he goes up and as he comes down the speed also increases because of the gravity okay so this jump code you can use in platformer games any other game in which you want to introduce realistic jumping okay and we will finish the code in the next class. 
I hope you like this video. Do share it with your friends and family and do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the second part of our dino game. See you in the next class. Have a good day and goodbye.